Romantic relationships are defined as mutually acknowledged, ongoing voluntary interactions marked by expressions of affection and current or anticipated sexual behavior. In the U.S., more than half of adolescents reported having a romantic relationship in the past 18 months, where adolescence is defined as 10 years old to early 20s. 36% of 13-year-olds, 53% of 15-year-olds, 70% of 17-year-olds have had relationships in the past 18 months. Therefore, as you get older, you are more likely to be involved in a romantic relationship. There are three perspectives on romantic relationships. The biosocial perspective states that changes in social relationships that enhance reproductive fitness should co-occur with attaining reproductive capability. For instance, reproductive maturation may be inhibited by physical closeness to parents, which accelerates distance between them. This distance limits inbreeding and therefore increases reproductive fitness. The ecological perspective emphasizes the social and cultural contexts that encourage or constrain close relationships and give them meaning and significance. Some of the influencing ecological factors include historical, social, economic, political, geographical, cultural, and institutional and community conditions. These are some characteristics that shape experiences and relationships. The interpersonal perspective emphasizes nature and processes of change in adolescent social relationships and the contribution of these changes to individual development. It looks at joint patterns of actions, cognitions, and emotions between two individuals. Attachment theory also plays a role in terms of if you have a strong emotional bond with your caregiver as a child, you are more likely to have a better adaption and transition into adolescence, or a better attachment with your relationship partner. We were interested in comparing the current research of adolescent romantic relationships to Duke couples, so we decided to interview a few Duke students involved in romantic relationships to see if their answers would confirm the data. When did you have your first relationship? All right, my first relationship was in middle school, and um, me and this guy liked each other on and off for a couple weeks, and um, homecoming was coming around, and he decided to ask me to homecoming, and that's where I got my first kiss. Um, I was kind of a player, so Let's see, back in probably middle school, I dated this guy named Miles, and we didn't talk, because like in sixth grade, you don't talk, like that's not cool. So, I just remember one time, we were like waiting for the bus together after school, and we were, we'd were we been dating for like three months by this point, we were like waiting together, and I like asked him, like, he had this like tag on his backpack, I was like, oh, where's that from? He's like, I don't know. And then that was the last time we ever talked. <laughs> Timing of involvement is usually attributed to the onset of puberty. Interestingly, development of romantic interests is more related to when estrogen or testosterone levels rise rather than the development of the gonads. When was your first serious relationship? This kid. Okay, freshman year. When? What do you mean? Freshman? December. Um. December 11th, <laughs> 2010 was my first serious relationship. <laughs> Yeah, probably the same. This one? <laughs> uh, when? Mine was junior year of high school. Most serious relationships develop around 18 years old. What is your ideal partner? Um, someone that, someone that's definitely easy to talk to. Um, that I get along with really well, and that kind of counters me. I'm a lot more um, like type A. I get really anxious or have a lot of like stress. So someone just who's like a lot more calm and level-headed. Uh, just someone that I can hang around with and have fun with, and obviously that you find attractive. And then really, it's if you can just if you have fun with that person. I think that's really important to. Yeah, I think I'm more of an uptight person, so Christian definitely lets me relax some, and I think that's good for me. Um, I think we complement each other well. That's kind of what I look for. Um, smart. Right. American. 
Yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, sociable. Adolescents report that they look for those who are intelligent, interpersonally skillful, and physically appealing. What is the age difference between you and your partner? We're almost in a year apart. He's a year older than me. Um, I don't think it was a big factor. I probably wasn't looking for a guy that was younger than me. Um, Aaron is 20, but almost 21. So it's, this is about probably a year and a half difference. Um, which I think at this point is fine because I think it's less about the age and more about the grade because he's only a grade ahead of me, which makes it seem like we're a lot closer in age than we are. Besides, I'm like really young too, like I'm just eight, 19 and a half. Males tend to look for partners that are close to their age, whereas females look for older partners. What are the main similarities between you and your partner? <laughs> Our looks. We look like each other. Um, a lot of people say that on Facebook, and um, that's ours is this a psychology class. Well, a lot of people are attracted to people who they look like, right? Well, that kind of fits who we are. Um, I also think we're more like past, like just looks, where they like, have the same personalities. Like we're both fun, outgoing. We like to do the same things. I guess, right? Originally? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, yeah, we're very similar. We can just be like silly in ourselves and not care. I don't know. Our eyebrows. I think just actually we like sports. I don't know. Yeah. That's kind of what brought us, that's how we get to know each other. So or just kind of the mutual thing was we both played soccer. So we kind of had that as a background. No, like we, we love food. We, we love food. I, we really enjoy food. Like the, our first text to each other when we get out of practice is where are we going to eat? Or I call it, I'm like, where are we about to go to dinner? Um, I mean, I, it's just weird because I would say I'm loud and he's quiet, but like we really like kind of, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of differences. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of differences, but like it kind of complements each other. It makes it work out. Um, Adolescent couples tend to be similar on psychological characteristics such as popularity, physical attractiveness, depressive symptoms, and have similar interests. What are some sources of conflict in your relationship? Okay. <laughs> we both have to be right. Like, that is something I've really noticed recently, but, um, like, I'll be like saying something and he like we both like know so much that like he'll be like no it's actually that and I'll be like no it's not and like that is like a real source of, like I get really frustrated because like it's really frustrating because he's an athlete but I know a lot about sports so like we're watching a baseball game together and I'm like oh that was a really good swing he's like no it wasn't I'm like I'm like no yeah that yeah it was he's like but I play baseball so you don't know and I'm like just because I'm a girl and he's like He's like, no, no, that's not it. And I'm like, all right, so you have to be right. And he's like, no, no, I don't have to be right. Just, I know. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't understand. So basically, we both are hot-headed in that sense. We both like to be right a lot of the time. And we have to understand that we can't both be right, I guess. <laughs> I would say when uh, Jimmy doesn't make decisions, when he's like, oh, I don't know, like, Whatever, whatever you want. I'm like, just freaking decide. Because <laughs> I'm a very decisive person. Low quality relationships are characterized by irritation, antagonism, high levels of conflict, and controlling behavior. While high quality relationships are characterized by supportiveness and intimacy. How long have you been dating? How long have your past relationships lasted? Uh, um, I actually, Katie is actually my first, um, aside from my freshman year of high school, I lasted a little under a month, um, relationship, <laughs> um, so this is running seven months strong, so, so I'd say this is, she's my first, and I mean, I dated a lot of girls in high school, but I never liked Oh, didn't you? I've told, I've told her this, so. The average is between 6 to 12 months for adolescents. Relationships of a moderate length are found to be effective in preparing adolescents for high-quality romantic relationships in early adulthood. When did you first think you were in love, and now that you've had more experiences in relationships, has that changed? 
I don't know, you kind of, you learn lessons from people and stuff, and you kind of grow apart from that person. I just feel like right now, my place in life with Mike is the best for me, hopefully the best for you as well. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, that was the first time I thought I was in love, but definitely not true. I mean, you learn a lot through all the relationships, which I think is important. You say I love you like probably maybe two months into the relationship. You don't actually know what that actually means. <laughs> um, I would say probably nine, eight, nine months, like right before I left for college, because I had told Jimmy that I didn't want to date in college, and then I changed my mind like a month before we left because I I wanted to, and I knew it was kind of for real. Adolescents report that their first recognizable feelings of love occurred at a later age than they had previously reported. In middle school or high school, did you ever date someone to try and fit in? Yeah. No. Senior year, I dated this kid because I needed a prom date. It's really sad. I dated this one guy. (laughs) This is really embarrassing, but he... uh, had a lot of horses, yeah, so and I wanted to ride a horse. <laughs> so yeah, I dated him for a few weeks. <laughs> I dated him for a few weeks to ride his horse, but that was the guy that asked me I'm coming. <laughs> Having a boyfriend or girlfriend in early adolescence usually confers social status and facilitates feelings of fitting in. Do you think you have less time for your friends and have lost friends since dating? <laughs> You're going to be honest. Here. Um, I definitely don't think we've lost any friends. We haven't lost any friends. But I do think that we find ourselves, you know, inclined to want to just, it's not so much that we don't want to hang out with them, but we're just so drawn to want to hang out with each other. And it's almost like we develop something along the lines of best friends as opposed to just your boyfriend too. So it seems, you know, what a bonus. Your boyfriend is your best friend. Um, no, I don't think so, because I think we both kind of have our, um, own separate lives that we value. Uh, I mean, obviously, he takes up time, but try to kind of include him with my other friends, or vice versa. Those who have had more romantic relationships report more worries about losing their friends. Would you say you have more negative reactions with your mother or romantic partner? Wait, what? <laughs> uh, definitely my mom, um, because, but my mom is like my best friend, because, I mean, she obviously wants me to do certain things that I don't want to do, or she, we're, we hit, we bump heads a lot. Definitely with my mother. Adolescents perceived more support in fewer negative interactions with romantic partners than mothers. However, adolescents' interactions with their romantic partner are significantly associated with their interactions with their mothers. Problem-solving skills and collaboration abilities with parents predicts interaction qualities with their partner. Who is more likely to be the negotiator? I'd like to say me, but her. Probably. I'll come up with something and then she'll decide it. I'd say me. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely the negotiator because I'm stubborn. I'm extremely stubborn and I want to stick to what I want in the end. But I mean, like, I'm stubborn too, but I'm just yeah, a little he's... more laid back. Women tend to bear a greater portion of the burden for upholding more mature forms of relationship negotiations. What are some of the actual relationship statistics at Duke? 36.4% of women and 34.5% of men report participating in committed long-term romantic relationships, with the average length being 16 months for women and about 15 months for men. Many students did not engage in hookups. 44.5% of single women and 46.6% of single men had not had any hookups over the past six months. 55.6% of single women and 51.6% of single men reported having no dates over the past six months. The majority of single students, 74.6% of women and 72.4% of men, would like to be dating more. What is your partner's favorite animal? 
<laughs> you don't get this, I'm gonna kill you. Gilda, what's your favorite animal? Well, I'm scared. Squirrels. What'd you write? <laughs> <laughs> Squirrels. What'd you Chris, what's yours? You better put my dog specifically. <laughs> if your partner was given any some amount of money, what would she or he buy in the entire world? Molly, what would you buy? A lake house. Christian, what'd you say she'd buy? I said a house with a lot of land. So yeah. Alright, that's, that's, that's good. good. Okay. That's close. That's Christian, what, <laughs> what would you buy? Christian? What would you buy? I would buy a bunch of toys, like a house of jet skis, boats, ATVs, cars, everything. <laughs> toys. <laughs> toys, cars, boat, houses. <laughs> Way to go. Okay, what is your significant other's favorite celebrity or uh, famous person slash... Professional athlete. A professional athlete. Oh, wow. Celebrity or female? What's yours? I don't know if it's her favorite person, famous person, but she does <laughs> That's what I was thinking. look like Megan Fox. Oh, come on. I do look like Megan Fox. <laughs> <laughs> she does look like Megan Fox. You can do it. Oh, gosh. I don't... Um, what movies have we loved? Of his. Well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Dang, you have it. Don't give up. <laughs> I don't think I'm competitive. I am. <laughs> don't look like a bad girl right here. <laughs> Babe, I have no idea. I have no idea. Tom Hardy. I do like Tom Hardy a lot. <laughs> what is your partner's favorite food? <laughs> I just talked to you about this. What's your favorite food? Pasta. It's uh, sour jacks with spaghetti. <laughs> I, that's my favorite candy. That's my favorite. I got this from. That's what you said. And what, what was your favorite? You gotta say it. Lasagna. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's like chocolate. You eat a lot of chocolate.